just there, but it's going to go for four. Well, what a blow. What a blow into the scoreboard. And what a result. Just coming right onto the middle of the bat. And look at this. Smashes in to the Perry sign on the scoreboard. Right. That was the in-swinging seamer. What's he going to follow it up with? Slow ball. Through the onside. This will be four more. He's Mills. Here's Sayway straight through. Cover point for four. Oh, nothing wrong with the delivery at all. This is just genius at work. So has got him. So has got him. One, two, two bounces over extra cover. What a shame. It was just too short, too wide. It was almost that uh, last ball kind of situation for Thompson and he couldn't quite pull it off. 45 for none off the six. And Verinda Sawag's pull shot for four. Familiar sights, especially for Ian O'Brien who's been short throughout the series. Yes, it brings up the half century for the Indians. 50 run partnership coming in quick time, just the start they wanted. Right, four more. So remember Wicket, he's been strong, but down the ground he shows when O'Brien over pitches, he's just as dangerous, small margin of error. He's he's back past the ball up. Hit on the up. So pressure on O'Brien straight away. Two, two boundaries and two balls. So it pitched again. And that's the easiest of the three. On his legs, too full. Not accurate enough. And he pays the price again. Short from O'Brien. And to the boundary. Finer than Sayway wants it. Didn't come out of the middle of the bat. He had enough on it to get it over the keeper and down for four. It's a tough ass to come back, bowling the power play. Especially if you're bowling there and bowling to this man. That's gone a long way. Great move from India again with the power play. Yes, and a move on straight away. You can't ask for something better. Boundary first, and this one, he smacked it over midwicket. Gets into such good positions. He's uh, got an eye of a dead fish and a tremendous bat speed. And that's not a great start. Might have been a variation in pace. May have been the seamer, may have been a cutter. But it's the line and length where he's paid the price. This time over the cover, over the offside. Not the timing that we've come to see from Britain to Sawag. Not the pitch shot to stop Stanley Vittori to field. But not a great proposition. He's done a little bit in pace, but the same result. I think the slow ball has worked. Sayway is in such good form and those wrists are so strong. Well, he's over cover. Thompson's gone wider. Sayway's adjusted with a casual flick of the bat. And just elevates it and eases it over point for four more. Down the ground this time. That'll be four more for Verinda Sayway. Six off the over from Vittori, 132 without loss. Oh, there's no respect, there's an answer to your question, Smithy. Absolutely no respect at all. No, it's unanimous. Every bowler has got the same peppering. No one's hiding tonight. No one at all is hiding tonight. Kyle Mills is probably feeling quite good at 5 overs, 1 for 29. There's no respect there at all. It's in the slot, admittedly, but oh, flat. Story to continue. Zaywag on 96. <laughs> and he 
defensive side, but it's just Tad, I believe. Is it? Is it? Tad, Rudy Kirchner's going to say yes, he's going to spoil the party momentarily. But it is four more to India. Savag looks back and says, you sure? He's trying, isn't he? <laughs> he's trying, Verinda Savag. Straight off the pad. Here we go, 97 Savag. Listen for the raw Hamilton. Stephen Fleming's on his feet. Mark Richardson's asleep. It's just fantastic. Just fantastic. What a display of hitting. Dorian, what, about a month's time or three weeks? If they have half as much fun as uh, the crowd have had here, they'll have a great weekend. Brilliant. Yeah, 17th, 18th, 19th. Oh, next month, the eight supercars arrive. And so Ag arrives on that table there. 60 deliveries. This is the 20th over being bowled, so after this it will be a match. Now uh, Francis Payne is uh, working away. That's four more. I don't think they'll cut that off. They would have to be 93 at this stage to win on the Duckworth Lewis system. 93 for none. So they're just, just in front. Yeah. So at the end of this, uh, she's a game anyway. So unless there's a downpour in the next five balls, and New Zealand can hop off uh, uh, so far behind the eight ball, it doesn't matter. There he goes. How high is this guy? It's gone very high. And over the top once more for six. Didn't time it perfectly. But he doesn't need to. Oh, he's just thumped that. There might be men out there protecting the boundary. He doesn't care. Simon here and Cuddle's in the middle for 200 partnership and why not glove tap, Cuddle and great entertainment 6101 I think it is and bring up 200 partnership with your good mate down the other end and here comes the rain once more wow it's been the scourge of the New Zealand cricket season this year. It really has. This season has been punctuated by rain delays through the West Indies tour. Now into the Indian tour. And it's very frustrating for all. Let's hope this one passes. Still 19 runs required. That I, for one, would like to see Corinthus Sawag knock off those 19 runs because it's highly entertaining stuff. Everyone's had some entertainment, I guess, apart from the New Zealand bowling and the die-hard Kiwi cricket fan. So she's all over here. Once again, in Hamilton, the rain has had this, the last say, but not before India has completely dominated the match to win by 10 wickets under the Duckworth-Lewis system. Now they've taken an unbeatable 3-0 and as we look at that to scorecard in the background, that 201 for none is the highest ever unbroken first wicket partnership to win a one-day international in the history of the game.